The Super Dane is in the beam. On this episode of Laptop Gaming, we're going to be reviewing the new HP Mini System. Now, uh, what's cool about this is that it actually... Testing the latest firmware update for the Steam Controller to see if they fixed the MacBook bug. It used to work and uh, now it didn't. And finally, we're going to be interviewing some big time developers to see what they're doing to optimize their games for underpowered machines. All on this episode of Laptop Gaming. Let's go! Alright, so the latest gaming consoles are all out. Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, but what about HP? Well, a local computer store recently got the HP Mini back on the shelves, and we managed to snag one before the eBay scalpers could take over. So, we've got Lonnie over there on the table with the new HP Classic Edition. Take it away, Lonnie! Okay, so, uh, this is the HP Mini 100E, the, the E stands for Education Edition, and I assume that this is a mini plug-and-play version of the, uh, original HP system. Now, uh, what's cool about this is that it actually, uh, unlike the Nintendo Switch, it, this actually does come with some included games, like Chess Titans and Purple Place. Come on, Lonnie, hit me with the specs on this thing. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, the... It runs right. Windows 7 Starter, and it's got right. one gigabyte of RAM, 160 gigabytes on the hard drive, it doesn't right. have a dedicated GPU, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and oh, it's got this handle right. thing right here, so you can carry it around easy. <laughs> You're not getting that with an Xbox. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lonnie, this is pretty cool and all, but can we see some games running on this thing? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll just start up Minesweeper. Oh. I think it's- I think the battery died. Didn't we just charge this thing like five minutes ago? Yeah, I'm not sure why it- Hang on. Oh, well, that's fine, Lana. You did a good job. Let's move on to our next segment. The Steam Controller, only the best controller ever made, the pinnacle of gamepad technology. Now, everybody knows that the Steam Controller infamously doesn't work with Greg's MacBook Air. I uh, don't know, I just don't know. Uh, it used to work and uh, now it didn't, so... Uh... With the release of a new firmware update, will this solve Greg's problem? Let's find out. Hey, Lonnie. It's not, it's not working. But it, it won't recognize the device, so the, uh, there's nothing I can do. Well, that's fine. Greg will just have to wait. Let's move on to our third and final segment. Alright, we've been through all the crazy stuff. Now it's time to get serious. We got to interview a bunch of game developers and see how they are optimizing for underpowered machine users like us. Lonnie, roll the clip. Pleasure to meet you. Glad to be on your uh, show. What's this called again? Oh, okay. Laptop marketing? No, oh, no, thanks for having me. How do I optimize my game? Well, I, I do a couple things. You can, you can do a couple things. Uh, optimizing. Alright, so, let's see here. What does that mean again? Well, I only have a PC, so I can't really bug test the Mac version, but it's still out there. You can still download it, but I can't really, like, say for sure if it works or not. Uh, you can go to the, uh, click graphic settings, and you got some options there that you can look at. Uh, someone online actually made a patch for our game that sort of optimizes it and makes it run faster. So we don't really have to make our own version of that because it's already there. Uh, hmm, that's a tough one. Because uh, we uh, make use of uh, 
We make use of the accelerated GPU and all that crap that you don't care about. I don't really know how to do that in Game Maker Studio, so... Um, I know you can switch it to fast graphics mode, that, that'll that really speed it up. It, it doesn't look as great, but you know, you can't really get that sort of thing on older machines. <laughs> we do have a little dialog box that try that pops up when you if you're trying to run the game that says uh, it, um, it basically won't it might not work properly. That that's really about it. I just follow the tutorials on YouTube for that sort of thing. <laughs> Linux. Uh, I only I only use Microsoft, so you can like tweak all the stuff like to turn off shadows, turn off lighting. Lower the resolution. I've seen that work sometimes. I make uh, games using uh, Roblox, and uh, yeah, Roblox runs on uh, a lot of different computers. We don't have graphic settings in this because we feel like the um, the game really benefits most from the uh, from the how it looks, how uh, the HDR high definition reality looks to our human eyes really sells the game. I mean, it really, it really just, it is the game. The, how it looks, the graphics. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. By the way, uh, you can play my game on Game Jolt right now. It's called Lord of the Forgotten Heroes. It's, uh, it's this, um, RPG game in Game Maker Studio. It's, it's really fun. Uh, I, I wrote the story, I did the gra I did everything. <laughs> you, can, you can use V-Sync. There's probably gonna be someone in the comments of this video going, Oh, but you can if you do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> right? And all that should really just like speed up the whole um, rendering, 3D rendering process of the game. And I don't really know how to like move it from Roblox to other games. Well, if you have a computer that has less than 8 gigabytes of RAM, it won't. It won't run. It'll just say you need eight gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, we'll just buy another, another old newer computer. They're not even that expensive. Like a thousand, like five grand. Like that's not even that like expensive. You know, you like get that from working at like Kmart. <laughs> you know. We have a strict no refund policy because you know studies actually have shown that um, ninety percent of all refunds are made by crooks. It's all up to the guy, the big guys on top, to uh, optimize the game. It's been pretty crummy lately, actually, because uh, literally, uh, it's like literally one time I was playing Roblox, and then all of a sudden it just like I, I just got stuck in the ground. <laughs> I just got stuck in the ground, and it was like I couldn't get out, and like my friend Joey was like, "Hey, you're stuck in the ground," and we like filmed it and we put it on YouTube, and it was so funny. <laughs> Cause then like there's this one part where I like shot out and I went into the sky and it was like so, like, uh, so crazy. And but, yeah, so I think that can happen in my game, I'm not quite in my place. 